So I don't know what's going on with the hair today. The hair today, I showered last night. I didn't put any product in my hair. I didn't straighten it. And this is how it turned out. So this week on The Beaver Bunch, we are truly finding out who we are as people and taking a personality test. I have <laughs> the same personality as Lori. I too was an ENEF. I feel like Lori gave you a really good description of what an ENF was, really. And that is an extroverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging sort of individual. And I don't know if this matters, but here were my percentages. <laughs> my E was at 33, my N was at 38, my F was at 62, and my J was at 22. I don't know if that has any bearing on anything, but there you go. There you have it. Those are my percentages. And uh, do I think it's pretty accurate? Yeah, I do. It told me that my best jobs would be counseling, psychology, social work, and education, which ironically is all things I seriously very much want to do in life. So I thought that was a little freaky deaky. But on top of the whole you should be a teacher, you should be a counselor thing, which is awesome. And thank you personality test for saying so because I'm trying now to land a teaching gig and on top of that I have volunteered at a program that does GLBT counseling now. So amazing how wonderful that my personality test and my real world are combining. It's brilliant. I, I didn't even have to take you personality test to know that I should be doing these things because I'm trying. I'm trying. So if fate and the world will let me have these things, I would love it. I really, really want to teach and be a counselor. On top of telling me what I should do when I grow up, it also told me that apparently ENFJs are fun to be with and truly understand and love people. And I can't speak for me being fun to be with because I'm always with myself, but I, I'd like to think I really understand and love people. So hopefully that is right, because I like to think I do. I mean, I'm not a nurse like Lori, but you know, I still like to love on people responsibly. <laughs> Then uh, they said I am typically, or ENFJs are typically, very straightforward and honest. I'd like to consider myself both. Exuding a lot of self-confidence and have a great amount of ability to do many different things. They are generally bright, full of potential, energetic, and fast-paced. They are usually good at anything which captures their interest. And that is totally accurate. If I'm interested in it, and if I like what I'm doing, it gets my full attention. I have a problem, however, if I'm not interested and I hate what I'm doing, I am not very good at it at all. And I guess I could be good at it if I wanted to, but if I'm just not interested, I'm not good at it. Because like, I don't want to put forth that effort and that energy when I could be dealing with things that I like, you know? So ENFJs apparently have a special gift with people <laughs> and are basically happy people when they can use that gift to help others. And that is true. I, I don't know, I really, really love helping others. I'm a helper. Hence, I guess, the counseling and the teaching thing. But they get their best satisfaction from serving others and their genuine interest in humankind and their exceptional intuitive awareness of people makes them able to draw out even the most reserved individuals. And I'd like to say that yes, that is a hidden talent of mine. I am able to make people feel comfortable or at least hopefully make them feel comfortable to where they're able to talk and have a good time or I don't know, you know, kumbaya-esque. I just like when people are happy and therefore I try to try to make that happen to sometimes a fault of my own. I would try to make other people happy while compromising myself and if you're an ENFJ and you do that, you should stop that right now. Right now because that does not end well folks, that just does not end well. So right now what I'm working on is 
trying to make people happy and trying to make myself happy. So there's there's a compromise there, folks. There's a definite compromise. And I feel like maybe a lot of ENFJs focus so much on other people and making other people happy and bringing joy and goodwill to the world that <laughs> we sometimes forget that we need to make ourselves happy. So that is definitely something that I am working on. And I'd like to say I'm doing a really, really good job at it right now. And um I have a lot of great people to thank for that stupendous group of friends and a fantastic girlfriend that always reminds me that, you know, I got to make me happy and she does that. So I'm lucky. I'm lucky to be reminded that uh, in helping others, you should also try to help yourself a bit. And to sum this little video up, I'm going to conclude with the last paragraph of this very long personality description. And they say, in general, ENFJs are charming, warm, gracious, creative, and diverse individuals with richly developed insights into what makes other people tick. This special ability to see growth potential in others combined with a genuine drive to help people make the ENFJ a truly valued individual. As giving and caring as the ENFJ is, they need to remember to value their own needs. See, I told you I wasn't crazy. I didn't even get to this yet. They need to remember to value their own needs as well as the needs of others. So in summation, I think this was ridiculously accurate and has scared me senseless. But God, I mean, who knew a personality test could be so right on? It's kind of freaky. But I mean, I figure if I am half of those qualities that I'm, I'm happy with who I am. I really, really am. And I don't think... I'd want to be any other personality type. No, you know what? I don't want to be another personality type. I am a proud ENFJ. And if you're the same, be proud too. We are an awesome, awesome group of people. So I will see you all next week. Mwah. Bye, guys.